Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earthquakes, top news stories, and as always, a look at your world of weather as well. But let's get started with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Looking at 193 angstroms reveals yet another calmer day without sunspots. We're in the 11-year cycle minimum right now, so no solar flares or CMEs to speak of either. While back at Earth, we are seeing solar wind intensify again from the latter portions of the departed coronal hole. Its slower onset to only moderately intense levels was handled by Earth's magnetic field nicely. We are calm at Earth. The next coronal holes are departing out to the right out of view. Another solar wind intensification from them is possible this weekend, so we'll have our eyes on the telemetry out at L1. The entire focus of seismicity yesterday was in the western United States. A couple five-pointers struck the Mendocino Junction off northern California, and Idaho got in the mix, cracking into magnitude 4 range as well. Let's start the articles, where we follow up previous stories with a look at a different kind of star-forming region, but still examining the magnetic fields. While no clear pattern emerges across the core formation zones, the fields are found to be organized and connected locally, and in many cases are overpowering gravity and the action of the local space material. Up next, it will seem just another article shared in the morning news, but this paper begins a cascade of understanding. There is a strange 450-day cycle to cosmic ray fluctuations outside of the sunspot cycle modulation, and they make no bones about it. The cause of the surplus cosmic rays is the Jovian magnetosphere, Jupiter, Zeus, Thor. He reaches out for us and delivers energetic particles into Earth's atmosphere every 450 days. Well, this confused me because I've heard similar ideas based on orbital conjunction proximity, but the resonance with Jupiter is way off. And even the closest planet to that mark, Ceres at 470 days, is still far enough to eliminate a 450-day conclusion over time. But alas, they're not saying it's about gravity or closeness of orbit. It's electric. Veteran observers know a fundamental solar system structure is the interplanetary magnetic fields that connect each planet to the sun. And they say that is what's at action here. The Earth enters the magnetic connection region of Jupiter once every 13 or 14 months, and this drives energetic particle flux to Earth via Jupiter's magnetic interaction with our star, its version of flux transfer events. Wow. Lastly, folks, if you caught last night's video, you heard about outgoing long-wave radiation. You can learn more at our last link today about short-wave versus long-wave outflow radiation and hopefully tie it back to the energetic system of Earth. We have had a number of evening videos come out lately, four days in a row, actually, if you need to catch up. Website members, we've already got 12 deeper looks on the year, and that's more than in any previous month on the website. Likely you need to catch up there as well. We've got your world of wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.